Hello and welcome to Troglotex T815 tractor system which is an upgrade to the T804 pushrod system. It's a fully battery operated system, doesn't require any external batteries or generators. The coil array weighs around about 20 kilograms and the tractor 5.5 kilograms with the forward view head which is what fitted here and 6.5 kilograms with the pan and tilt head. So it's easily transportable and being completely battery powered we don't need any generators or any other equipment. So the first thing we do if this is the first survey of the morning is we pressurise the tractor. And there's a small pump for this purpose. It takes about 20 puffs to pump it up between 40 and 50 psi and that's the required pressure. Don't exceed that pressure obviously and don't go below that pressure. That pressure will slowly be lost during the day's use uh, because it pressurises the cable at the same time. So there we go, that's 45 psi. Disconnect the pump. The rear connector reseals so you don't lose the pressure. Rem remove the brake pressure and get a bit of cable out. Try not to let all the cable get tangled up doing that. And as we connect the tractor connector, the cable then becomes pressurised. And we can switch the system on. Tractor lights will come on. Right, about 10 seconds later, let's press record to start a recording and make sure that the symbol in the bottom left-hand side of the monitor shows you recording. And then we can press the forward button. And the longer you press the forward button, the faster the tractor goes. And if we wanted to slow down, which I'll do here, is we press the reverse button. So we're going too fast, so I'm pressing the reverse button. Tractor speed is slowly reducing. I'm happy at that speed. But we are veering off to the right a bit. So I'll press the left turn button. The right turn to start with. And then the left turn button. That gets us back on a straight line again. So when the tractor is travelling forwards in forward mode. Then pressing the left or the right buttons will steer the tractor to the left or the right. The tractor can also be steered from stop. In which case it will turn on the spot. The laying device obviously pulls the cable off uh, neatly and then it will relay it again on the way back in again. And the tractor will do about four or five runs of 300 metres from a single charge of the battery. Right, I've come up against an obstruction here about 213 metres out and uh, we're losing traction. So what I'll do here is I'll stop the tractor by pressing the stop button and then go into reverse, mind the cable, try and steer around the obstruction. I put the forward view camera back on by pressing forwards and then stop and then use the turn keys and I'll try and get over the obstruction again by going full speed forward. And that's it, we've got past it. Okay, so reversing to stop the tractor, you press the centre button to stop the tractor and then get tension on the cable by holding on to the handle of the coiler of the cable drum and then press reverse and then get a uh, speed that you're happy with and just keep a bit of tension on the cable. Don't overspeed the tractor too much, uh, there's no point, it'll just increase wear in the tractor. So the idea is to get a comfortable speed on the way back in. So all you're doing is actually pulling about three kilograms of pressure to get the cable to move and the tractor itself is moving itself. And just get a speed that you're happy at by using the forward and reverse keys to select the speed you want.